Well, looking ahead tonight, in just about two weeks from now, you'll be getting your election ballot in the mail. And you'll be asked to vote on three measures worth nearly $600 million, all made possible by an unprecedented partnership between the city, Spokane Public Schools, and libraries. Kicks by Force Taylor Graham working for you tonight. She's here to break down these issues for us. Taylor? Landine, we spent about an hour talking with Spokane Public Schools and Libraries today going over the measures. We don't have that kind of time tonight to explain it all, but we did want to give you an idea of what exactly you'll be voting on. In short, three new middle schools on city property, three new libraries with renovations to four others, and replacing Joe Albee Stadium. When you get your ballot, you'll see Spokane Public Schools bond Prop 1, worth $495 million. Oh, it's definitely worth it. If approved, we'll see smaller class sizes as 6th graders move to a 6th to 8th grade model. Three middle schools are built on city property and three others are replaced. And if the school's bond Prop 1 passes, Joe Albee Stadium will be replaced. Speaking of Joe Albee, that brings us to the stadium advisory vote you'll also see on the ballot. It's the second piece of the partnership between schools, libraries, and the city. You no, know, not all cities look at things this way, and we want to make sure that we're making the best decisions for our citizens. Voters will give their opinion on where the new stadium stands, either downtown or where it is now at the Albee site. The school district will have the final say, though. And finally, you'll see the city of Spokane bond Prop 1. If voters give it the go ahead, we'll see three new libraries in Spokane. Can, and four others getting renovations. The library bond is worth $77 million, making the bonds a nearly $600 million investment for voters. Having good schools and good libraries in your community means better education opportunities, better informed citizens, happier citizens. Uh, I think it's definitely worth it. And we want you to weigh in. If you have any questions about what the bonds mean for you and the rest of Spokane, we want you to message us on our KXLY4 Facebook page. We'll take your questions to the city, schools, and libraries to bring you in-depth stories on each measure next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. In studio tonight, Taylor Graham, KXLY4 News.